Thanks, Deputy Martin. Um, well, the tomb is not just a burial ground. It's a social and cultural sepulchre. That's what it is. Because as a society, uh, in the so-called good old days, we did not just hide away the dead bodies of tiny human beings. We dug deep, and we dug deeper still, to bury our compassion, to bury our mercy, to bury our humanity itself. You see, no nuns broke into our homes to kidnap our children. We gave them up to what we convinced ourselves was the nun's care. We gave them up maybe to spare them the savagery of gossip, the wink and the elbow language of delight, in which the holier than thous were particularly fluent. And we gave them up because of our perverse, in fact, morbid relationship with what you call respectability. And for a while, indeed, it seemed as if in Ireland our women had the amazing capacity to self-impregnate. And for their trouble, we took their babies and we gifted them, or we sold them, or we trafficked them, or we starved them, or we neglected them, or we denied them, to the point of their disappearance from our hearts and from our sight, from our country, and in the case of Tume, and possibly other places, from life itself. Yes, we're all shocked now. We're all shocked now. And if the fruit of her religious and social transgression could be discarded, what treatment was meted out to the transgressor herself? So we better deal with this now, because if we don't, another Taoiseach, some other Taoiseach, will be standing here in 20 years saying, if only we knew then, if only we had done then, but his or her then is our now, and now we do know, and now we have to do, all of us in this house, together. Now, I believe, Deputy Martin, that this Commission of Investigation has completed some of its work in that it has carried out the physical excavations in this chamber of horrors in Tume. And um, what's needed now is uh, some reflection on the process that's required here. There is an independence for the coroner. There is an independence for the Gardaí. There is a duty in terms of the, in terms of the, um, of the local authority. Um, obviously, those whose uh, siblings were affected and families were affected um, are distraught. Um, so there's a role for the, for the um, coroner here in North Galway to... Um, consider what steps may be necessary and appropriate in accordance with his statutory functions. So the Commission actually haven't made formal findings yet, Deputy Martin. What they have done is complete the physical excavation to where we now know that there are substantial uh, remains of very young children uh, in, this, uh, in, 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 this, um, in, in, in this spot. Um, I, 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 I think we need to have some little, um, some little time to reflect on the issues that you've raised here. Clearly, the fact that we set up a, a Department of Children, a Ministry for Children, a Child and Family Agency, that we had a referendum to enshrine the rights of children in Bunrock and Aheron, speaks for, the, speaks for the, uh, the direction in which government wished to go here. Um, I would like to think that I could answer yes to all your questions now, but I respect the independence uh, of both the Gardaí and the coroner uh, in respect of the progress that must be made in, in the next steps. Yes, we are all shocked. So, yes, let's do something about it then.